December 1950. Four American F-86 sailors dart through Korean airspace in dire need of a victory. 25,000 feet below, communist North Korea has waged war on the South and its United Nations allies for six months. Here on the ground, it's hell on Earth. Many Americans are feeling very confident coming out of the end of World War II with a victory, and all of a sudden, they are met with a disastrous defeat at the opening of the Korean War. Overhead, chaos strikes as North Korea's Soviet comrades unleash MiG-15 jets. Facing them are inferior F-80s and F-84s. MiG-15 was much faster, uh, could go much higher, uh, and had really good armament on the airplane that totally outclassed the F-80 and the F-84. Desperate, the US Air Force calls up its newest weapon, the F-86 Sabre jet. December 17th, at Kimpo Airfield, ground crews prepare the Sabres for battle with the MiG. Leading the hunt is Lieutenant Colonel Bruce Hinton. Like the entire US Air Force, Hinton is eager to see how the Sabre matches up against its tenacious rival. His F-86s are untested in combat, and he's only taking four to the raid. This could be a suicide mission. Deep in North Korean territory, Hinton's strategy is to deceive the MiGs. For this mission against these MiG-15s, Hinton used the element of surprise by using the call signs of F-80s to make MiGs think that this was a vulnerable group of slower fighters. Suddenly, the number two pilot spots enemy aircraft 7,000 feet below. The trap is set. The MiGs have no idea there are Sabre jets flying high above them. The Sabre pilots peel off in pursuit of their targets. Hinton aims for the closest bogey, peppering the MiG as he watches smoke trail from its wing. But there's no time for celebration. In the heated dogfight, Hinton strays from his wingman, a dangerous move. To make it home alive, he must finish the MiG solo. The flight leader presses in on his opponent. He unloads 1,500 rounds. The MiG erupts in flames. For the first time, America's state-of-the-art jet has taken out a MiG. The Sabre has arrived, and the US Air Force has the first victory in its newest combat assassin. First air-to-air -air kill of an F-86 against a MiG-15 is a great moment, not just for Hinton personally, but it also represents that we've entered this new age and this epic rivalry that's going to become so iconic 